to make scrambled eggs. So, for a normal sized portion, you'd probably use around three eggs, okay? If they are organic and free range, they're much better. The fresher, the better. Uh, a way that you can test, actually, how fresh your egg is, is by, just crack that one, <laughs> is by uh, filling up a glass with cold water. If you place the egg in the water and it sinks or floats, I can't remember which one. If it floats, then it's not very fresh. Okay, so mine sinks, which means it's a nice fresh egg. Okay, so we've got our eggs now. I'll just get rid of that again. My nice unicorn glass. Uh, and all we're going to do is crack three eggs into our pan. So if you want to come a little bit closer, I'll just show you how to do that. So use the side of your pan, little tap, so you've got a nice little edge, two fingers in there and just crack like that. If you do get some shell in, then if you use the edge of your shell just to get it out, then that's the best way. It's a bit like a magnet, I'm not really sure why. Uh, we then crack our other two eggs. Okay, so that's two. And then if you want to go proper fancy, you can crack one-handed, but that's only for us master chefs. So I've put my little bit of paper there because egg yolk is or can contain salmonella so it's really important that we don't contaminate our area. So I'm going to just quickly wash my hands. Oh, that's hot. So we now have our eggs cracked. Okay, I'm going to stick that just to the side. In fact, just in the bin. And we're going to get going. So I've got some butter pre-prepared here. We don't need that much. I'm just going to cut that in half with a knife. Okay, the butter's just going to act as a non-sticking agent when we come to cooking our scrambled eggs. We're also going to include, we're also going to include a little bit of milk, which is going to give us that little bit of creamy flavour. You can put cream in, but it's going to make it really uh, unhealthy, and to be honest, I don't think it's necessary. So, we'll just have a little splash, so literally just a little sprinkling, and that's enough for really. you. Now before I put the heat on, I like to give it a good stir because I hate scrambled eggs that have the whites separated in there. So I'll give it a nice good stir, if you have a little look, it should be like so. Can you see that? So once I've done that, I'm going to turn my heat on to a medium heat. Now because we've got gas, it actually heats up a lot faster, it heats up instantly. If you have an electric cooker, then if you put that on for a little bit whilst you're maybe mixing up your yolks and then it'll be heated up ready to go. So on a nice medium to low heat, I'm going to place that on there. Whilst I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just a little pinch because we can always season afterwards. You can always take, uh, always add salt or pepper, you can't take it away. So always a little bit at a time. And I like to put my pepper on at the end. The reason being, if you put the pepper in now, it'll turn the scrambled eggs quite grey. So we want to keep it nice uh, and yellow. 
tiny little sprinkling of salt if it comes out. Good, that'll do for just now. And if you come a little bit closer, you'll see that my scrambled eggs are starting to stick to the side a little bit. Okay, now once you start to stick, you want to stir it quite frequently. The last thing you want is the eggs to stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so we'll leave it in there. The, mel the butter's starting to, to melt a bit as well. So that's always a positive. So at this point, don't need to stir it uh, vigorously. Just give it a nice gentle stir, checking around the edges to make sure it doesn't burn. Now you can see that it's starting to get quite hot. And you can see when I do this, that it's starting to stick to the bottom a bit there. Okay, it doesn't take long to cook at all. Okay, so I'm going to start to stir it a little bit more vigorously just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Now, scrambled eggs are actually meant to be a little bit runny, so when you see them uh, looking a bit sloppy, that's actually how scrambled eggs are meant to be. If they're overcooked, you'll get a watery sensation to them. So if you see some water, then that's because you've cooked them for too long. So actually, if you take them off the heat when they're still a little bit sloppy, then you will, uh, or they'll start to continue to cook whilst they're on your toast anyways. Okay, so it's really coming to form quite quickly. It doesn't take long once it gets to this stage, but just keep on stirring them. I like to use a wooden spoon. Some people will use uh, a whisk, but my favourite is a wooden spoon. Okay, now I'm going to take it off there. You can see, excuse the heat, I'll turn the heat off there. You can see the eggs still have a little bit of glossy shine. Now that's what we actually want. Okay, so when we come to put them on the plate, let's stick them on this plate here. Okay, when we come to stick them on the plate, they will actually continue to cook. Okay, I would have put my toast on before I cook these because I like my toast to be cold when I eat the scrambled eggs. But if you'd like them to be hot, then uh, you could do that uh, just probably as you mix the, the, the yolks in, like I said before. Finish with a dusting of pepper. Pepper really makes scrambled eggs super, super tasty. And then we'll have a little taste as well, just to make sure that they're seasoned properly. We've got a little bit of scrambled egg. Welcome to your first uh, how-to video. This has been Miss Cox and how to make scrambled eggs. Enjoy. Hello, Miss Cox's phone class, and welcome to your first how-to video with me, Miss Cox. 